Hello, hello, hello. Welcome to Happy Talk. Another week, another day, another hour to talk about happy things. I hope you're all very happy. If you're not, hey, be happy, okay? Every single moment of the day, try to be happy. You know why I'm very happy today? Well, because we have a very interesting subject, yes? And the subject is therapy. Therapy to help us become better and happier. Are you ready for it? that therapy? Yes, it is. One of the many things we can do to help our bodies and our minds. What is therapy? Well, it means treatment, rehabilitation, helping you feel better. Here's another example. Hi, this is Christine Ataide and I am here to give you home remedy tips. Remedy tip number one, facial scrub. First, get a cup of mayonnaise and then get a cup of honey and stir them together in a bowl. And then wash your face with soap and water and dry it. And once it's dry, spread the mayonnaise and honey all over your face and then let it harden for 10 minutes. Once it's hardened, wash your face, rub with a towel and voila! glowing skin okay let's be serious okay today we are going to be talking about professional therapists all right i've heard about therapists before but nothing like what you're going to hear today but before we do that we have therapy number one by chloe at high day what do we do before the start of every show we do the Stretching exercise, yes. From therapy scholar Friday, all right. So what do you do? Stand up, everybody, everybody, everybody up, okay? And follow what I tell you and do what you see. Are you ready? Okay, music maestro. Yeah. Okay. Start with the face. Move your muscles. What do we do? We do the breathing exercise. Breathe in, breathe out. Breathe in, breathe out. One more time. Breathe in, breathe out. Are you ready? Stop. 
stay with us. Last week, I went to a masajista, okay? He was blind, okay, in Green Hills. I was so tired that day, you know, I was going to do something. I said, boy, I need a massage. So I went there. It was good. Then after that, I felt, mm-hmm, okay, feels a little better. Are they therapists? Yes, no? But today, as I said a while ago, we are going to talk about real therapy by professionals, people who really studied it, okay, and are really doing a great job in helping a lot of people who are sick, okay. And with us here to represent the um, occupational therapist and the physical therapist, ladies and gentlemen, I'm so happy to have with us here Bernadette Reyes. Bernadette, thank you very much for joining us in this happy talk, okay? Bernadette, maybe we can start by first telling our audience a little about yourself, okay? First of all, uh, Kaloy, thank you mm -hmm. for uh, inviting us to your show. It's mm -hmm. a pleasure. Um, I am uh, a physical therapist. I graduated from the University of the Philippines College of Allied Medical Professions in the mid-70s. Mm -hmm. um, I am currently a member of the Board of Physical and Occupational Therapy of the Professional Regulation Commission. Is that a, uh, an association or is it a part of a government uh, uh, organization? It is the uh, government regulatory Ah, okay. It's the one that regulates all of yes. this, makes sure that yes. everything is in order. Okay. That's right. All That's right. right. Okay. And, uh, yeah, great. So, um, misconceptions. The reason why I was excited to, uh, to interview you and your group is because there's been a lot of misconceptions. And after I spoke to, the, to, to some of the therapists, I said, whoa, there's so much that people don't know about professional therapists, okay? Uh, can you give us a little idea, I mean, uh, 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 how different a masajista vis-a-vis <laughs> -vis the professional therapist? Uh, unfortunately, Kaloy, despite the uh, profession being about 40 years old, and despite the fact that uh, in the mid-90s, physical therapy was seen as an exportable profession, we still to this day suffer from that tag masahista or manihilos. Actually, that's quite unfair because we go through a rigorous five-year uh, curriculum leading to a bachelor's degree in physical therapy and occupational therapy. Wow. Uh, so, hindi biro. Um, it's like a nurse. How, how long does a nurse take uh, their course? Now, it's a four-year college course. And to be a physical therapist or an occupational therapist would take five years, you say? Yes, and that includes a 10-month clinical internship where uh, the students are exposed to actual patients. Oh, my God. I never really realized that, you know. I, I went to some therapy before mm -hmm. uh, because of my niece. Mm -hmm. And, um, you know, I was talking to, to the therapist there, the physical therapist, and I, in, in my mind, I mean, they probably took a one or two year course and then they would go you know, abroad. Five years, yes. boy. Yes. 